Hey guys, what's up? Coach B here at uh, Crosshair Crossroads, and I am sitting here with Hannah, the founder or co-founder, founder, founder mm -hmm. of <laughs> Flights for Fallen Families. Mm -hmm. This is the she's the one, the mind behind the group that we are supporting for Memorial Day, and the big reason that we we decided to support them is because Hannah is a Thornton local, and so was Jacob, mm -hmm. who is why this foundation exists. Yeah. So will you give us just kind of a quick snapshot of who Jacob was and, and um, you know, this, the, I guess I should say the situation that ended up making you go, okay, something, somebody's got to do something about this. Yeah, sure. Um, so he's my little brother. He was killed in action on May 28, 2014 in Maruf, Afghanistan. Um, within 48 hours of his death, we were all notified and um, given the opportunity to fly to Dover Air Force Base all the way out in Delaware. Um, and only three of us uh, had plane tickets that were covered. And so, as you know, last minute plane tickets are just stupid expensive. Mm -hmm. And we're fortunate enough to be able to cover it at the time. But I was just thinking like, man, how many families miss out on homecomings of soldiers or funerals or memorials or anything that might be out of reach for them because they can't afford it. And I just thought that it was honestly a little outrageous. Mm -hmm. um, and so out of my grief, I decided to help people. Yeah. And uh, so I started Flights for Fallen Families um, just to do that. I just wanted to financially assist Gold Star families because most of the time they're not in a fortunate circumstance where they can just buy last minute plane tickets or, or go out of state for a week or, or whatever, you right. know. Because it's not just the cost of the flight and the hotel, and it's it's taking time off work. Yeah. It's you know all the associated costs with that travel. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah, that's a really that's a really difficult thing. Yeah, and, and and it's the emotional and impact of it on top of oh my god, how am I going to pay for a nine hundred dollar plane ticket and hotel and food? What am I going to do with my kids? It's just yeah. to take take that burden off of somebody and go no no we got it. It just. It, it's the best feeling to be able to do that for somebody. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, does this? Do you? Are you guys specifically focused on covering plane tickets? Do you help with other costs as well? We, we mostly do travel. So um, I have. There was an instance where we helped um, a group of families that lost all their heroes at once in a helicopter crash off the coast of Florida. Oh no. And they wanted to go back a year later um, to the site and visit the site. Um, and there were a whole bunch of. Um, groups and companies that were helping with it, but the cost of gas or plane or tickets or whatever, and we wanted to just help. So we gave $200 gift cards to them, each family, just like, hey, do whatever you gotta do. Yeah. You know, um, we have mostly done travel though. So, okay. yeah. No, yeah, it's, I mean, helping in any fashion, when it, in, in, a, in a place like that, like emotionally, like you said, you're just not, I mean, you're dealing with all the emotion of it and yeah. all of a sudden, okay, I also have this financial impact that I've got to deal yeah. with. So this is, this is awesome. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, that's a great story. The, the group of families, is there one like story in particular that sticks with you? Like a family that you guys have been able to help with anything like that? Um, our very first, uh, family is my favorite. Um, he, so his mom and dad, were very, very financially burdened after his death. Generally, there's um, uh, oh, what's it, like a benefit that's given to families, and I know that they were given that, but they hadn't been able to go visit their son's grave in three years. Oh, man. Because it was all the way up in Washington State, and I think that his wife wanted him buried out there, and it was way far away from them, and so we were able to um, pay for them to go out there and stay awesome. and see their son's grave, and then um, witness uh, there was a big memorial um, that they moved from one spot to another to its final resting place. So it, it was like a week long trip, but um, we covered that for them. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. That's so, awesome. And it was my first one and you know, it was stressful and I wanted to make sure that I was being sensitive and knowing that I wanted them to know I understood, you know, so it was just, it was great. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, do you specifically work with families from Colorado or is this just part of you're, you're trying to help the military families anywhere in yeah um, we were really fortunate um, to make a connection with TAPS and they're oh, a huge cool. huge military uh, bereavement organization 
um, and they're nationwide and they're actually worldwide. They do lots of great stuff. Oh, wow. So I made a contact there and they've been the one kind of feeding us all of these families and they come from everywhere. We have one from um, Hawaii. I think that was our last one that we did. So, oh, cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. All right, guys. So uh, this is who we're supporting with, uh, with the Memorial Day Body Armor event. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it just, uh, it's important to me that we partner with somebody local because we can make a bigger impact that way. Yeah, totally. Right? Um, so thank you so much for partnering with us. Yeah. This is awesome. Um, guys, if you guys want to support uh, the event, the Memorial Day Body Armor here at Crosshair Crossroads, um, we are going to be doing that on Memorial Day. We start at 9 a.m. We're going to run heats um, every half hour to make sure everybody gets a chance to get through the workout. Um, and yeah. at the end of all of that, there's actually a uh, workout from the CrossFit community named WIC, named after uh, Jacob. And so um, when that's all said and done, there is a small group of us from the gym and anybody that wants to join us can yeah. definitely join us. <laughs> um, after doing the body armor workout, we're also going to do WIC uh, in his honor um, since this is, you know. Thank you birthed from yeah. that that ending. So um, thank you so much for hanging out with yeah. me today, Hannah. And um, guys, if you guys want any more information, you can go to flightsforfallenfamilies.org. Correct, yeah. Or you can find them on Facebook. And Instagram. Oh, and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I didn't know yeah. that. I want to yeah. find that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Hannah. Yeah, thank you. All right, you. guys. Thanks. See ya.